Hello, welcome to an unboxing. Uh, I have a few things to open up here. Two things from CD-ON, uh, one thing from Eureka, and one thing from Amazon. Uh, oh, right, hold on. Oh, much better. So I was going to wait until I had received a few more things, which I had hoped and believed were going to arrive um, this week. It's Friday today. But they did, they did not, so three more things from Savi are going to have to become uh, its own unboxing. But it would have been quite long uh, anyway, uh, so um, I think it's okay to uh, make two unboxings, I mean I might, might as well. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess we are going to start with these two. Uh, there's no theme here, just a bunch of... Oh fuck, the battery's low, god damn it. Okay, battery is changed. It's not like I'm not used to having to change the battery in the middle of the, vid the video, but it's equally annoying every time. Um, okay, I think we're gonna start with this uh, from Eureka. I believe this... Um, I thought I opened this. Oh, I did. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I believe this was exclusive to the website, otherwise I, I normally don't buy from you directly from Eureka. Um, I don't know why, I, I guess I never really bothered to check. Maybe, I, I think they have free shipping, I think. I think so, unless they've changed it. But I think this was free, um, the shipping. Um, I, I just opened this because it's... Um, I wasn't, oh, I, I wasn't sure, what, sure what it was, what it was. But, uh, well, I mean, I thought I knew, but I just thought that it was going to be a bigger set. Uh, but it's Metropolis. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? This battery starts to blink too, which is weird because I took it from the battery charger, which was had 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 a green light indicating that it's fully charged. So that's bullshit. I'm gonna keep going until it cuts in until it cuts me off, and then we'll have to change again. Okay, well, 90th anniversary edition, uh, Masters of C Masters of Cinema series number 16, which is, is because they released this a long time ago and they've re released this a few times. But I guess this is the final ultimate edition, three di three disc set. Uh, I sold my uh, DVD that they released a few years ago. Well, I bought it a few years ago, and uh, I liked the movie. But I think um, I mean you've heard me say this a lot over the years. Uh, even if you if you don't remember, if you've been watching for a few years, you have heard me say this a few times. <laughs> that I I need to see this movie again to fully appreciate it. And the reason why I keep saying that is because. In my teens, like late teens, uh, when I had nothing else to do, I would watch a bunch of movies, and a lot of them were simple movies, but a lot of them were uh, challenging movies, and maybe some of them I, I wasn't quite ready for. Um, and I, maybe I wasn't ready for this. I, I mean, it's, it's not like I didn't like it, I just wasn't blown away. Um, so this is another one of those that I need to see again, but it's gonna probably take a while. But a uh, very nice release. I actually, actually pre-ordered this months ago, and then it never arrived. I just thought that, um, I, that, that it doesn't matter. But I, I thought that it was delayed or something, and that's why it hadn't arrived. But then I saw a, um, a post on, on Facebook from Eureka stating that um, we only have less. We have less than 100, cop 100 copies left of the edition now. So if you want to buy it, then be quick. So. I thought that I'd better contact them and ask them what's going on and apparently they had shipped the um, the Blu-ray like weeks before that so they, they just sent me a new one and the new one arrived but I'm always I, I'm always curious as to what happens when things get lost in the mail like exactly where does it go wrong I mean I guess the post postal service is not a foolproof system I mean people and machines make mistakes I suppose and things get lost um, and I've had that happen a few times. Uh, lately it's been a little bit more than usual. I, I also ordered um, The Thing limited edition from Arrow, which I would have had by now, but um, it didn't arrive and then it was sent... Well, it was shipped back to the warehouse for some reason. And then they told me that in the email in which they notified me that it had been shipped back, they told me that you're, you're gonna have to purchase it again. We can't ship it back to you again, so you're gonna have to make a new order. Well, it's a fucking limited edition, so I can't make a new order because it's sold out. 
So you know that's that's annoying when you when you're actually quick and you get your addition, but then someone screws up and uh, you 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 I me my, as a collector I'm without my precious limited edition. Um, you missed my grand hand gesture like that by the side of the camera. Maybe you saw the shadow. All right, uh, this. Um, I mean, uh, so I, I'm gonna have to get the um, the thing, um, the standard ed edition, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, a random movie, I suppose, uh, from Amazon Marketplace. I think Dodax, yeah, um, Dodax. They have some some good deals. I bought bought of them. I've bought from them a few times, and they usually have titles that I'm interested in. Um, not that I check their store or anything, but I check for the cheapest copy, of course, and they're, they're, they are the cheapest a lot of the time. Um, so, for some reason, I just felt that it was the right time to see this movie. And um, it's a movie called Moonstruck, which you might have heard about, but, but I, I, I've certainly heard about it, but I don't know too much about it. But I know that it's uh, with, yeah, Cher and Nicolas Cage and also Danny Aiello. Aiello. His name is right there, which um, it's a really good cat. I don't. He's yeah. It says and Daniel Yellow, so that usually means that their the role is of some significance, I suppose. Um, it, it looks like a really sweet movie. I don't know. If that's my impression, but I, I I really I really don't know much about it. I have always been uh, not a not a fan, but kind of fascinated by Cher. I like her for some reason, and I, it's not like I like her music. I mean, her song Believe is nostalgic to me, but be beyond that, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of her music, I uh, never listened to it, and her movies, I've only seen her in a couple of things, uh, I don't think she's done a lot of movies, um, so I I'm not sure why, I, I'm, 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 I like her, but I'm, I've always been fascinated by her, it's like wh whenever I've seen her somewhere, it's it's like been, you know, oh, chair, that's, that's cool, uh, and I don't really know why, but um, anyway, uh, so these two from CD on, the first one is, I suppose, the most interesting one to international viewers. This, there's certainly a lot of stuff in this, but it's gonna be interesting mainly to Swedish people, which you'll understand why uh, when I get to it. But this one is very exciting. If you are a horror fan, horror collector, you might know about this movie. And I think, I don't know if this lacks a... I mean, I'm sure, I don't know why Sweden would be the first country to, to release it, I suppose it, ha it has happened before. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you the movie. It's a movie called Death Weekend, which was just released a couple of weeks ago. Um, uncensored special edition, um, uh, banned seven times. Uh, the notorious version which is the re the record holder of censorship in Sweden, I suppose you could say. Um, this, uh, like like I said, this is a movie that I b believe has been hard to find before this, at least over here. Uh, maybe there's a US edition, I'm not sure. I did check on Amazon UK and I didn't really find this movie on there, so may maybe it is available in the US. I don't know too much about the movie, but I'll be perfectly honest with you. Well, part of the reason why I bought this is because it's cool that something kind of obscure and something that something that has a, a history like this in Sweden gets a release. But what is perhaps the coolest thing is that, well, in my last unboxing I, I talked about Swedish cinema and how it's very uncommon for new editions these days to contain newly filmed, uh, like produced in Sweden, special features. This one does. This contains a newly recorded interview featurette, interview film. Um, let's see if it's gonna focus. Um, and it's got some recognizable people. Yong Gyu, he is a someone that 9 out of 10 Swedes will know who that is. Uh, I've always kind of appreciated him. A yeah, very intelligent, intelligent guy. Uh, the uh, previous uh, censorship boss, I suppose, censor head of censorship, and uh, film guru. It says I'm not really, a I'm not sure if I find him all that talented. Uh, he, he, you know, Ron, Ronnie Svensson. He's, uh, I, I know who he is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I find him all that talented. Uh, thanks, man. Well, it's just when when I listen to him speak, he he kind of tends to make mistakes, like factual errors, or he tends to. 
think I heard him cite a movie that he said he really liked, but I think he got the director wrong, and I was like, what? How, how do you do that when you're, <laughs> um, you know, 50, 60 year old film, pro professional film reviewer, and has been for a long time. Uh, he, he's, he's a sort of a reliable film guy, I suppose. Um, I, and I, I have to be honest, I haven't seen, it's not like I've seen dozens of clips with him, or maybe I have over the years, but I, I'm not wrong. Um, from dozens of clips, but I the few things that I remember, and uh, this, I didn't mean this to turn to, <laughs> I didn't mean this to turn into a rant on him. Sorry about that, but he is, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the interview film, and then the Studio S boss, uh, Studio S is the company that released this DVD. So, so they're, they're talking about the, the film and the fact that it was censored, um, and. Um, yeah, and, and that's uncommon, that's a really cool thing, especially with names you recognize, like Yong Yu. Um, cool, they, they got someone like him to talk about this movie, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they um, what they have to say. And then there's a couple um, uh, excerpt from Aktuellt, which is a um, news uh, broadcast um, about censorship from 1987, so that sounds really interesting. So I'm looking forward to the uh, the movie. But uh, I'm looking forward to the extras just as much, I have to say. Um, and then in this one we have, um, well, basically, <laughs> you know what? I, I, I can show you two of them that I've seen uh, recently. Uh, they're Swedish Christmas calendars. I have been, been watching these in December. Uh, this, this one is one of the first ones. It's the earliest one that is released on DVD. And maybe the earliest one that is preserved in its entirety. Believe it or not, a lot of the earliest uh, calendars they have, even though it's only in, in the 60s, or early to mid 60s, a lot of the uh, episodes are lost apparently. But this one is intact, I think. Um, and um, it's the the first one that th that that was uh, made. Well, uh, the first, anyway. The, the, yeah, the, the earliest one that's on DVD. And I, I never saw this properly before, but every every Swede knows about Tjeskjeds Gumman. Uh, it's, the title here is something different, but basically it's Tia Skuma. She's brilliant, um, but I wasn't a big fan of the... Uh, I mean, it was good, but I, I, sh I thought it was a bit... Um, I mean, it's very silly. It, it deserves its status as a classic, but I had gotten the impression that it was supposed to be better. Um, but, um, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. I'm not, I don't mean to bash it. Uh, this one I saw when I was a kid, uh, 2002, so I would, would have been 10. So 50, 15 years ago, I even remember listening to an interview with the two kids um, after, I guess, when they were airing the show. And um, yeah, I, I, I just remember seeing an interview on TV with them. And I remember watching the show, and so I wanted to see it again. And anyway, so these are the two that I... Um, um, have seen in December, and I just thought that I would um, stock up on some more of them that I don't own. I'd like to, um, I'd like to own them all. So I got <laughs> quite a number of them all at once. I went all out. It was like three, four, two hundred crowns, and then I had a coupon code. Uh, so I got these pretty cheap. Um, I'm not going to talk about each individual one, individual one, but I, I could, believe me, but I'm not going to. I mean, there's a lot of history with most of these. A lot of them are new to me, though, but um, this one is from, is from 1973, uh, this from 69. This one looks very good. It's with, uh, an, even by Tage Danielsson, who is uh, a respected figure in Swedish sort of entertainment history. Or whatever, to say the least, he died pretty early. Um, so I think he, uh, it, yes, he, uh, he r wrote and directed this, and he's in it too. Very, very talented guy. This one was always one of my favorites. I was 11 when this came out. Remember, remember very clearly, I was at my grandpa uh, when the the fi final 24th episode aired, which I could mention. I've talked about this before. I remember making a video about this like nine years ago, before 
the current channel. And I, 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 so yeah, but still I'll, I'll mention, it, mention it again, uh, in the Scandinavian countries at least, maybe other countries too, and I don't know much about the Norwegian or Danish uh, calendars, or I, I at least believe that Nor Norway has them, but if you're from Denmark and if you know, then let, let me know. So, <laughs> right, so the, these countries, uh, and um, especially Sweden as far as I know, you know, they have made Christmas themed TV shows, mainly directed, directed towards children, as you can see, maybe from some of these. Um, but uh, they can be enjoyed by a lot of adults as well. This one, perhaps not so much. Uh, this is a very kid-friendly one, and not one of the best ones either, but it, it does have a special place in my heart. I saw this when I was 11, like I said, and as I was about to say, on Christmas Eve when the final episode aired because they have one episode each day in December up to the, the 24th. I remember waking up like a couple minutes after the episode started and I just rushed out of bed. I realized, oh fuck, the final, the final episode is going. I rushed out to the TV and eventually my, my grandpa came out and kind of put a blanket on, over me and then I was watching the, sh the episode. So I remember that. Uh, <laughs> just a little anecdote. Uh, so, you know, I have good memories from this, and then I bought the VHS with only the first half of the show, and for years I would only watch the first half, and I would be like, every time it ended, I would, I would be like, oh, god damn it, I want to I wanna have the second part too. And then eventually I found the, D the DVD with all of the parts. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I've seen that, seen that a lot, and I own it, but I wanted to rebuy it, because I want to have all of these uh, new designed... Uh, editions because uh, they look nicer. Well, not not this one, but as you can see, uh, the design is different for this one. But they they look if you have all if you have all of them in the uh, the same edition, then they look nicer. And they've had like four different editions over the years for for them. Um, then this one, Kurt Olsson's Jul. I don't know if I mentioned. I guess I didn't mention the, uh, the titles for all of them. Doesn't matter. 1990. This one I don't. I know nothing about. I just know the. Um, the main actor, Lasse Brandeby, he died a few years ago. A few other people I recognize. Well, he's at least one. So, we'll see about that. And this one was from last year, uh, which I only saw a couple episodes from. Um, I just never got around to seeing it uh, in, in its entirety, but I heard, I heard it's good. Uh, so, I got that. Uh, so, I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> between what you just saw and now, it's been like 40 minutes. I, you know, I feel like I have such primitive equipment when I have to change the camera batteries uh, two times in, in one single video. And now I, I didn't even have one that, that was fully charged, so I had to wait. And I had to go to the, uh, well, while I did that, I, I went to the store and I got some things and I finished my laundry. So now we can continue with the rest of the little, the, the, this, you know, the remaining small portion of the video. So. This one is from 1993. Uh, I've seen this. I've seen before. Let's see. Did I talk about which ones I've seen before? You know, I mean, I, ver I very well know these characters. Everybody in Sweden will know these characters, and I think they might be from Finland originally. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I've seen some of it. I don't know if I've seen the um, Christmas calendar. I mean, you can see. You can see his hands there. Uh, very elaborate suit. I'm sure that's intentional, but still, uh, I've, I've seen some kind of cartoon version, and, and I had a um, a, um, a game of this when I was a kid that I couldn't figure out how to <laughs> progress. <laughs> I remember I was in, I was like in the attic, and I was like, "What the fuck do I do? How do I get I get out of here?" Anyway, uh, this one I've never seen, uh, and, and these two I've not seen. So so far, I've not seen a lot of these. Uh, this, however, I believe I've seen some of, but the character of, Pe of Petson, the character of Petson, uh, Gubben means old man, I suppose. He is a very well-known character. We, we all know him in, in Sweden, and I've seen, again, I've seen cartoons with him, and they have a, uh, yeah, the, I'd like to see them again, actually. The, there's a certain feeling to those cartoons, a very specific kind of nostalgia. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I don't know if I've seen this. And once again, I had a game. A pet, pet song game when I was a kid, which was kind of fun. In one of the um, the uh, the parts of the game, this character here, 
who is played by a human in this, but it's a, a cat. Uh, we're kind of racing, scrubbing the floor by racing, which was one of my favorite parts of that game. Nostalgic stuff. This one, 1995, I never saw. I was only three when this came out, so this was before I was aware of anything. <laughs> Uh, although there is, I mean, one of the best ones is from 1991, is it? And that's always been one of my favorites. So I have gone back to view a couple, but, well, especially that one from 1990. I think it's 1991. Um, this one I've seen at 2013. This is very good. And this guy, he's one of my, when I found out that he was going to be in this uh, four years ago, I was very excited because I hadn't seen him in anything, but he, he was in, he's been, he's been in a few comedy shows over the years, and two of them are some of my all-time favorites, uh, and he's in this, he's a comedian, um, but he, he's, a very, he's very good in this, and this is, uh, uh, the Christmas calendars of the past few years, they have definitely stepped up in quality, uh, for a while they were going, they were releasing some really weak, weak calendars, but for the past few years, I, th I feel like something has happened. Like starting with may maybe this, I'm not sure. There was a change of quality, it seemed. And I haven't seen this either, 2011. But I feel like they, they, the budgets were bigger, the actors were better, the stories were more uh, in, in developed, I suppose. They had supernatural... Well, they, they usually had supernatural elements, but they had some kind of uh, adventure element, like a sci-fi, uh, this suspense kind of element which they didn't used to have before uh, so over the past few years they've been a little bit different and I the one that is, is air, airing this year I've only seen like four episodes uh, I, I'm intending to continue hopefully I'll be able to do so before Christmas um, actually in the new one he is also in in that at least in a, a small part uh, and, and the new one is uh, quite quite good special effects actually uh, so uh, but this one I never saw either. Uh, around this time I was 19. I, you know, I, I don't. Know. I mean, I've I've always been. I, I I never grew out of watching these. But there were a few years where I just didn't bother with them. Uh, I never f considered myself too cool for them. Uh, I never had that kind of a face. But um, I, you know, it's been. I've watched them um, just kind of sporadically over the past several years, but um, uh, over the past few years I've, I've bought these DVDs and greatly enjoyed going back and revisiting uh, a bunch of these. So I'm, I'm not going to have to buy any, any more in a while now, although I probably will because I want to collect them all uh, before they re-release them with a new artwork or whatever, or with, um, you know, before they go out of print or something, which I don't think they will, um, but still. Uh, Alright, um, this one from 1989, the last one. Turus Venton. I know this character and I know this actor. Very fun, very, very funny guy. Um, uh, yeah, and and I've, I've, I don't know if I've seen the Christmas Calendar, but I've seen uh, I've seen something with this character. I don't know exactly what, but when I was a kid, I saw something with him. So that's all. Uh, and um, well, uh, well, this was wasn't really a part of the haul. But if we take a peek inside here, you can see all of the releases, or at least up until 2013, which is the one that I had in, in the in the hall. You can see them all. There are a few that haven't been hasn't been re-released. -re a few older, at least two, and either that I know of, that haven't been re-released in this newer format or this newer uh, artwork variation. And then, as you can see here, I mean, there's a bunch of gaps. If you can make out the years, like 69, 73. 74, then 82 all of a sudden. So there's a bunch of a bunch of them that they never released. But I, I looked it up on Wikipedia and the latest um, old, I mean the archival release or whatever, uh, the, the, the latest DVD release of a Christmas calendar that wasn't just released, you know, uh, came out back in like 2013. So it doesn't seem like they're releasing old calendars anymore. It seems like they've stopped doing that which I would love to see them release the rest of the ones that are available, that they can find, that they have the rights for. Um, because it, it kind of annoys, I mean, it w would be so satisfying to have from 1967 to 2017 and beyond, like every single year on the shelf. 
Um, th there might be a few that aren't gonna be able to get a release for various reasons, but it, it would be nice to at least get as many more as possible, because there are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, so twenty-seven. Let's say about 35 to 40 have been released. Let's say 35. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, so that's still at least 10 that uh, haven't gotten a release. Anyway, uh, <laughs> very, very, you know, fun addition to the collection. It's going to be very satisfying to place these among, among my, um, the, my other ones, because I have at least this many from before. I think I have, I probably have like 25 now. So, you know what, I'll show you a clip of the shelf. Or I'll, I'll include that at the end of, of this video, right now, just to see what it looks like. <laughs> so here we have all of them, starting with this one, um, all the way here. And as you can see, um, these two, well this one I can remove now, because this is the one that, that I rebought. Uh, just because I w <laughs> it just looks nicer on the shelf if you have them, the, the um, you know, similar editions of the, the shows. This is one that I mentioned from, from 1991. This is probably the most classic one there is. And you know, it's a red case, which this in, this is too, so it kind of stands out. Then there are yellow cases too, which were the older ones, uh, which I don't have. But, um, you know, some of these, the older ones, this, I don't know if, how well you can tell here, but you can see that the uh, the logo with the ear is not in the same at the same height, and the design of the spines, they're not the same. It doesn't really bad matter, but someone like me, I like to, to uh, if I can, to get to get all these, uh, you know, in the same edition. So, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going six. I'm going to have to rebuy, but I can just just sell these, so it's 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 all good. Um, all right, that's just I just wanted to show that. So that's that's everything for today.